Welcome back, lords and ladies, to another Dal Amroth campaign within the uh, Divide and Conquer submod. I know it's been quite a long time since I've uh, uploaded one of these episodes, and I know I've been meaning to get back to it for a few weeks now, so I finally have some extra time where I'm able to. First off, I do want to uh, make sure that we can actually see what we're doing on the map, first of all. Uh, we're gonna need some reinforcements for this army, so I'm sending my fleet all the way back to Barret Harn. Make sure they got my space bar down. <laughs> Still not able to do anything. Let's get some Coastal Wardens. Wait. Ah, I could get some better guys here. So we'll take all of these men. And we need to send them down as reinforcements. And over here, we need to retrain you guys. Wait, does that say respected? Nice. Alright, so we can see an army there. We don't have that many men on route. I do need to get another ship, however. So just one more turn, we'll have a decent fleet. Could take the rest of these men. Uh, let's retrain some guys, I guess. Why am I retraining them? Oh, they need some full leather. Got it. Got it. All right. Okay. Well, we're completely out of money. We do have an adoption. We're going to reject. I'm going to take one look at the family tree. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, we've got some children on the way. I'll see you guys later. Alright, so we have another candidate for adoption. We will reject. Eteris is besieged. Karantros is under attack. It seems the Dark Lords from Mordor and Isengard have moved upon our allies of Gondor and Rohan with each other. Yep. Okay, so we got some decent uh, training value. Now what I would like to do, why would we retrain you guys? It's gonna be a while. Chainmail. I don't have a chainmail, man. I don't have a chainmail. We'll just uh, take him and let's go. Yes, Alright, we'll uh, train you and some cav. Otherwise, everybody's hopping on the boat and we're gonna go give reinforcements to where they're needed. And then we'll take some uh, reinforcements if we have some here. I do need to build things, I can't just be recruiting a ton of infantry, so if I can get like a land clearance or something for like 600, that would be great. Or anything that's just worth it. That gives me a little bit more income, so I suppose. Uh, yeah, I guess we could start building that if we really need to. You know, I think it's going to be the case. Let's just build something to increase some amount of money, and then after that, maybe it'll be better. We are also besieged by another uh, Herodrim army. I will have to take full advantage of killing off the archers as well as the tribesmen, and then probably have to focus down the uh, trollmen as well with uh, my king. Otherwise, the rest of my men will die. There's no chance to hold the rest of them off there. Otherwise, we are not besieged over here. They've actually left. They actually left us alone. 
which is amazing. So I might actually try and go for Ramlon again. Because I have a decent enough garrison in Gobel Melon. Or I could go for uh, this town again. Then again, I have better walls here. Well, I'll join up here in uh, the city. Let's see what we've got. Three. Yeah, I don't have really the army to just march in here. I could take the chance, but I don't know what's out there. So we're going to scout with the ships first and check it out. Otherwise, yeah, see? Two armies large enough to crush that little reinforcement army I brought with me. It's just kind of... Okay. Alright, now that we've kind of scattered around, I feel a little bit better. Got my decisions, my life decisions. Alrighty, and if we do get those guys, we should get free upkeep as well. Not making a lot of money next turn, but that's because I've recruited more men. We'll fight the defense of Nindad Astolad, and I'll see you then. Alright, so another candidate which we will also reject. We have been given an order to go and take Ramlond. The idiots do not know that Ramlond is actually protected by multiple armies, and it would be very dangerous. So we'll now be converting the populace to Dunedain, a little bit faster. Uh, we could get a grain exchange going. Irrigation is the best that we could do here, and that would be very expensive. Uh, only to increase the trade by two is just very minimal, very terrible. So I don't know about that. Is there any way I can improve over here? Perhaps I'll just have to save up or something. Bring in another army to assist in this. I'm going to need to bring those reinforcements over this way, otherwise we're going to get overwhelmed. As it is, we only have enough men to defend this area. I don't care if these guys are not upkeeping. I'm going to kill this army off too because I feel like they're just going to go around. So what we'll need to do... Uh, take everybody except for those guys probably. And the Haven Guard as well. Alright, so they have no horse archers, so I feel pretty confident we can crush them. Let's do this. All right, so let's see if the Prince of Dol Amroth actually has a chance. And by Prince, I mean Prince, because our faction leader is basically the king. And remind me to change the music in just a moment. Every shot does count, my friend. Let's see, do we get any stakes? No, we don't, unfortunately. Ah, you get stakes. Congratulations. Now, music. Maybe just the main, I guess. I don't know. And we set up completely in the wrong direction. Rovery. Rovery, Rovery. Awesome. Alright, everybody. You know what? Just... There we go. Now we should aim archer wise for the trollmen. Because they're trolling us. <clears throat> Yeah, 
Fear nothing and fight well. Let us fear the end and nothing more. Alright, we're almost in range. We can almost taste them. Our archers will not be in range, so I'm not going to push them up just yet. I will draw them in with my other archers, however, just because I can, and I will do so. Coastal Wardens. So are we getting some uh, arrows from the sky? Are we actually hitting them? Seems we're hitting them, we're just not killing any of them. Make every shot count. There we go, now we're killing some. We'll just have to cavalry charge <clears throat> the trollmen, otherwise... They're not going to die that easy. Two hit points are quite a bit. I was kind of hoping they would start marching towards me or something. These guys just look like regular, regular old people, just with bow and arrow. Yeah, you're getting hit a little too hard. Why don't we focus all on those guys? Charge down the archers. That way the pikemen are dead. Because I don't want to lose that many of my archers, to be honest. Let us charge into battle! <laughs> do -do -do -do. I'd say that was a pretty good charge, about 20 of them dead, and not a single one of us died. Already out of arrows, shit. Okay, pull back. On reload or something don't just don't just run away from me we're your biggest fans oh they're shaking all right we've got to come back in for another charge You know what? Let's go for another charge on the uh, on those guys. What can it do? Can't touch us.
Well, our power-up's gone, boys. Let's get out of here. Now we need to go for those archers. But we've cracked down the main line. That's important. And their spearmen are useless relatively to them. Alright, now it's time to march in the infantry. Now that we're unhindered by infantrymen, we can crush the rest of their archers. And there they go, they're broken. And the 50 of these guys are... Wow. Okay, we gotta be careful of these guys because they do pack punch. Unless they're not fighting, then we can slaughter them pretty easily. <laughs> Alright, so they're just kinda... Alright, hold your position, dudes. You're too fast for the other bits of men. They have more javies? They do! Get rid of those fuckers. Well. Alright, everybody, let's move. It's moving fast, boys. We got no time. Fight for your honor. Postal wardens, what the hell are you doing? Only half the enemy force remains. Shit, we took a charge there. That was bad. Come on, get a charge. There we go. Oh, right in their backs. Perfect, perfect charge. Perfect, beautiful. You know, maybe if I'd use my cavalry a little bit, I actually might not be in this problem. Fear nothing and fight well. Fear nothing and fight well, my friends.
And there you go. Practically a route in itself. And there we go. We also killed off the captain, as it were. Taha is dead. Congratulations, my friends. We've actually won a victory. A grand victory. One that few ever chance win. Let's just capture them all and then execute them all. Sound good? That way, nobody escapes. Alright, so hardly anybody has escaped. Alright, everybody's pretty much gone. Let's just call it a day. I would say it's that coast and war the coastal wardens that took the... They got into battle and I tried to get them out. And then it was also the Gondor militia that was the main... Main bit. Otherwise, the Knights of the Silver Swan was just Emerald's unit, so that's fine. Pikemen were destined to die. So it's just the Coastal Wardens, if I would have saved them, it would have been a lot better. We would have just been better off. Alright, we will execute them. Camp has been sacked for little tidings. Now he's got a shield bearer and he's a great commander. We are still doing crappily everywhere else, that's fine. But now he is a night fighter in the making. He's got a shield bearer. Plus two to that. Okay. Alright, now... When's his next son? It's seven, Elphia, and then four long. They need to have a son too. Just because I need more generals. Now I do have 15 turns to take this settlement. Now, when I do plan on taking it, I would say it's a, it'd be a good idea if I happen to... Uh, it's, well, let's just keep going high taxes. It just gets us more money. It just depends on when this army here... I could just come out and attack this army if I really want to. Do I have any spies left? Then I could just assault it right away. Oh, that's right. Uh, we will have to attack you guys eventually. Right, right, right. Can't wait. That's 58% chance. Why don't... Oh, 90%. 90%, go for the 90%, it's Martyr! Alright, so we'll try and train him up a little bit before we try and just toss him in there. Because I'm I'm not going to quick save and quick load, it just takes too long in this submod, to be honest. Alright, well, I had to kind of come back out in of the program for a minute. I, I don't know, I guess it was some turbulence or something, but... Uh, I'm going to end the episode here before anything drastic happens, just in case. Otherwise, uh, we will be probably having to take on this army. I don't want to because of the camel archers, and that's enough for me, but... I would prefer to be a defensive battle, if anything. Especially with another force on the way. So, we'll see where this goes. If they just all attack us at once, that'd be interesting. That might be our king's last stand, and we might have to retake Nindad Estolad. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Berry Night out.